I started filming and the sun moved and now I look like this. What is up you guys? It's Jalen. Um, today I'm going to be filming a very highly, highly requested video. Um, I've gotten a whole bunch of comments on my cockroach video saying that you guys would like to see a cockroach care guide or you know, another video about the cockroaches. So um, I've got my cockroaches with me and I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna talk about them. So my cockroaches like to hang out in this little tube. You can't really, you can see them a little bit. I currently have them in their travel container because they do not live with me. They live with my dad and he lives three hours away. So they stayed with me in my dorm this week so I could take care of them and film this video for you guys. Um, so I'm gonna shake them out of this tube Try not to piss them off too much, and we'll see how that goes. Ay -ay -ay. Good morning. Okay, so as you heard, you heard the hissing. Um, I just woke them up from their slumber. You wanna get comfortable? So here are Jack and Diane. Um, I'm just gonna point out the differences between male and female so you know. This is Jack. You can tell because he has little horns on his head. They're not really like horns. There are two bumps on his head that males use to like combat each other. Um, I'm assuming it's to fight for mates. Well, I can make them hiss again. Males are the only ones who hiss. Females, I don't, I don't even know if they're capable of hissing. Um, this female never hisses, but literally if I touch him, he'll hiss. Like... He also jumps a little bit, so I gotta be careful with that. And then over here, you can see the female. She has a flat head. The female has a flat head, and then you can see his little horns, kinda. So these guys live up to around five years. Um, that goes for in the wild. Um, I'm not sure how long they're capable of living in captivity, but when I looked up how long their lifespan was, it said five years. So I'm just gonna assume that that means that's just their general lifespan. Um, these guys are pretty young right now. They're not full grown, they get a little bit bigger. I'd like to, they might get a little less than an inch bigger, uh, a little thicker. So I know a lot of people are probably thinking, this girl's crazy, she has pet cockroaches. Who would want a pet cockroach? Um, well, these guys are very, very docile. As you can see, they, literally this is all they do. Sometimes he's, males are a lot more active than females. She's very sedentary. As you can see, he moved up a little bit on my hand. She hasn't moved at all. They are also very, very cleanly little creatures. These guys are actually a little disgusted by humans. Humans are dirtier than them. Um, so these guys have little mites that live on them that actually clean them and like eat any bacteria or whatever off of them. Uh, so they're super clean. So one thing that you have to make sure of when you are, if you plan on getting a pet cockroach or two pet cockroaches, is that you have a very secure container for them with a lid. Um, some people like to put Vaseline around the container edges. I know we have Vaseline around the container edges. Um, it's not to prevent them from escaping, but if they decide that they would like to have babies, it's to prevent the babies from escaping. Because, as you can see, this container has little holes in the lid. My roommate's grandma is here with her dogs and they are viciously attacking each other. Another reason these guys make great pets is they do not bite you. You see a cockroach biting me? No, not biting me, not biting me, not biting me. So yeah, um, they don't bite. <laughs> like I said a couple of times. They are also very, very easy to take care of. You really don't have to replace like their bedding or anything super often. You wanna make sure that they have like a little layer of whatever bedding you're gonna use. Uh, we use like the coconut shavings because they can burrow underneath it. I know sometimes when he's not in his tube and I go to catch him, even though they're very like super still, sometimes he'll crawl underneath the bedding. We also keep a sponge in their container so they can drink water. This isn't necessary, but I don't want my cockroaches to drown. So they are much less likely to drown in a sponge than they would be in an actual water dish. I have a little PTSD when it comes to insects drowning in water dishes. I had a scorpion once upon a time and she had babies and all of her babies died except for one and the one that I was keeping drowned in a water dish. So we're gonna not kill my little creatures. These guys naturally in the wild live on forest floors. 
So we just, again, like I said, make sure that they have good bedding, not just like newspaper or anything. That's no bueno. Something a little comfy for them to hang out on. Uh, they also like climbing. And most importantly, they like hiding inside of things, which is why we have the bamboo. Can I help you? So literally they spend all of their time in that little bamboo container thing because they like the dark. So he's, I don't know what he's doing, but he's adventuring. And when it comes to their food, again, they're very easy to take care of. Um, what I currently have in their container, I have like a sprinkle of some coconut shavings. Uh, they have some cat food in there. And I also just put some romaine lettuce in there. They really like their veggies. They're omnivores, but they, any, like if they were to ever eat meat in the wild, it would just be like a dead animal or something. They eat off of decaying stuff. So these guys eat a variety of fruit and veggies that they highly seem to enjoy. Uh, I put a little piece of honeydew in there the other day and I came back and half of it was gone because they're they are nocturnal. So they come out and eat at nighttime. So I never actually get to see them eat because they're always in their bamboo container. So you know that hiss that you heard in the beginning? I'll do it again. That actually does not come from their mouth. It comes from their abdomen. They have something inside of their abdomen that just kind of like squeezes the air out. And that's how the males create the hissing sound. Hello. So yeah, other than that, they don't need heat or anything. No heat lamps. Obviously they shouldn't have a cold container. You don't want to keep them in the fridge, but room temperature is fine. They do fine in really any setting. Like I was saying, they're very easy to take care of. There isn't really much more that uh, you need to know aside from the fact that um, they're sweetie pies. They like love and affection just as all of us do. Actually, they uh, they probably don't. They don't really like being pet. They like crawling around. So if you want something to cuddle with, I wouldn't recommend these guys. You'd probably crush them. You probably, you could cuddle them if you wanted to, but not a good idea. If you are looking for an easy pet to take care of, I definitely recommend these guys. Like I said, super easy, low maintenance pets. Um, yeah, they're actually really great creatures. I used to be scared of cockroaches. Um, I'm still scared of the German, German cockroaches, the palmetto bugs, flying ones, those cockroaches, fast cockroaches. Do not like those. These cockroaches, very good. I like these. The dogs won't shut up. Anyway, that's the end of this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did. And make sure you subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos. I will post all of my social media links and crap in the description below. Add me on Snapchat if you would like to talk to me. Follow me on Instagram. Um, I also have a P.O. box, so if you would like to send me anything, these dogs! So if you would like to send me anything, all that information will be below. You can hear my roommate's dog screaming in the background. Okay, say goodnight. They're going back to bed. Anyways, I hope you guys have a nice day. Goodbye.